Big Carpentier. Crash. Is that Carpentier? Oh, and this That's is crazy. Good. This is a huge one, and the yellow is coming at the wrong time. Oh. Bruno still in the balance. Let's take a look and see. Oh, there it is. Front wings fail. Yeah. That's what it is. Off oh, into man. the runoff area and the tires. Oh, yeah. That's Did not one. go upside down, but a huge hit for Patrick Carpentier. Yep. He just nearly took out Roberto Gonzalez there. Went right across the racetrack in front of him. Shrapnel everywhere. We look at the battle with uh, Catherine Lang, Royal Sir. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Massive accident. Oh my God, that is the motor, a car, a tub landed upside that down. That is the kink. I uh, don't know who that is. Well, of course, it yellow might be Ka the We don't know kink. who that is right now. Catherine's incident. This is the kink. Now she's back, she's already around, and she hits the wall with phenomenal force. The car flies up in the air, catches the fence a bit. The motor breaks off as she comes back down, and the tub continues to go. As the, as the gearbox and the rear tires up in the air there, as the tub barrel rolls down the, uh, the outside of the track there, Incredibly, incredibly scary shot there. We're all fingers behind him, so that means that Simone. Oh, look oh, at this. Tracy, he's got one of the Team Australia wings. Oh. Tracy clouts the wall with that wing caught under the wheel. Oh, Tracy, stay on. Oh, the big wreck on the racetrack. Big wreck here in Toronto. Graham Ray Hall's for Paul Tracy to see at that point. It's underneath the tires. It's lifted the car. Oh, big oh, air for Tristan Gomendy. Wow. Gomendy nearly went end for end in the pay-by-touch 22 car. 370 metres ahead of us. And what a charge from Kara. Gets ahead of Hamada. Yellow flag. There's an incident already. Someone has lost it. In the mist there, I believe. Yeah, there's oh, a huge a shunt. shunt. A huge shunt. Fernandez is involved. We've got cars ripped apart here. And that's entirely predictable. There was conjecture before the start as to whether they'd run single or double file. But Jimmy actually made contact with Adrian and that it set off a chain reaction that at this stage I'm counting eight or nine cars. Nakano there plows heavily into Takaji's countrymen from Japan and it sets off a massive chain reaction. One of the players' cars... Are 110 miles per hour here at Twin Ring Motegi. Oh, and a big crash. Someone has hit the wall. Bobby Rahal. A massive crash that has sheared the right side off the car. A small fire at the back of the wreckage. That'll be an oil fire that's just... Oh, and he just loses it a little bit. Saw a puff of smoke out of the right-hand side of the car, and he just loses it. It just goes up a little bit high, and at that speed, there's nothing you can do. You're running so close to the walls anyway. Everybody tries to use the draft. The draft is really available here. Well, it makes a, a big factor on this long straightaway. And for the first time in an Indy car. One car with an engine going, it looked like. And no, oh, against the wall. That looks like uh, Mark Blundell. Oh, he looks like he's okay, but he's, uh, he's moving in the car. Mark Blundell, a stream of smoke. I don't know if it was because the engine went or because he was already losing it. Hard against the wall, but he climbs out immediately. And, of course, the yellow comes out. So we're in our second yellow. Oh, yeah. Oh, his motor was definitely going. Somebody was very lucky there. That looked almost Whoa. Like, ooh. Oh, that's that, a lucky impact. That's a lucky impact for him to walk away. And remember, Fontana is all about the draft with the Hanford device. It's like coming up behind a semi at 90 miles an hour and just being pulled right into the back of it. Oh! Oh, oh an enormous crash. Oh my God, a terrible crash. Yellow comes out again. We're gonna hold on identifying this car because there are two cars like it in the field. We want to assure ourselves back of that car up against the wall Ribeiro's in there Johansson is in there it's the other car that we really want to wait know a about. minute who's Way that the line and we have a very serious accident flag here is the replay Eddie oh. Lawson and the Krosna no that is actually Stefan Johansson Our there Johansson. and he was moving out to pass another car which looked like it was Gilles DeFerrin I don't think he saw Krosna he couldn't have seen him and he moved over the last few years. Oh, we've got drama there indeed. And Gilles de Ferran in the Valvoline car is involved. 
several other cars. It looks like uh, Michel Jourdain. Just have a look and see. Well, the race has been stopped, and there, oh, my word, he uh, really hit that wall at that, an angle, didn't it? Well, a very direct hit yeah. on the wall. And there was obviously contact between him and another car before they even yeah, got Yeah, it stage. looks like it's Gilles and Christian have touched wheels and have just um, sent each other into the wall. And obviously Christian's come off a lot worse. That second impact there was probably the one that's done the damage. Yeah, that's right. Once the initial impact is absorbed, and these cars have amazing properties to absorb impact from very high speed. But once the, uh, the absorption has occurred once, then of course there's not much there to take a secondary impact. Looks like there was a stumble in the field back about Mauricio Guzman. Big Clayton crash in front of me, Paul. Yep, yep, big crash going into one. Castro Mark Neves Lundell and one Elio Castro Neves, it appears to be. It is Castro is, Neves. Is the other car... Yeah, it's Mark yeah. Lundell and Castro yeah. Neves. Yeah. That's in turn one. So now if there were any question at all for fuel for anybody, that's gone. Is Elio Castro Neves okay? The well, they're both the conscious. Already there. Oh, oh, that's just a huge oh, hit. That's a massive impact. Castro Nevis catches the wall about four different times as it comes to a stop. Fortunately, most of it with a... ...to stop. Once Andre got in the box, more took off as I was carrying my tire out. His left rear hit the tire I was carrying, knocked it out. We've got to go back upstairs. We've got a car problem. in the... Big problem. Several cars off... And one of them has flipped over. Three cars involved. Michael looks Andretti. Like Michael Andretti looked like Mark Blundell in that bright Motorola colored car. Okay, through the kink on the back straightaway. Two cars in front of him. Slips inside. He taps PJ. Trying to pass him. Look at that. And he lands upside down on the track. Rolling again, tumbling. Look at that. What a ride through that. Oh. That is unbelievable. And is that not a testament to the safety?